What's a practical challenge you might like to offer to people that would just make them, that would broaden their perspective or make them a more um, loving person? It could be whatever, yeah. like literally anything, just as long as it's practical. I okay. like practical challenges. A tool that I have been using that I also, to some degree, created uh, is something that I use every year. It's called my year in review. Mm-hmm. So we just met to discuss this, you and I and um, spouses and Daniel and and so on. And I think that that's been one of my biggest frameworks for understanding myself and then also just kind of carrying an actual history of my year. Mm-hmm. And so kind of the the way this ties into some of the things that we've been talking about is my year interview, I do top moments, top songs, top books, worst moments, and then a variety of questions of, you know, what went well this year? What went poorly this year? You know, what would you like to do better next year? Mm. In the past, there have been questions on, you know, how, how was my relationship with God? And it forces you to sit down. For me, it's usually from like, mid November to like the end of January and kind of wrestle with how my year went and what I think about that (laughs) and maybe understand, especially in the context of as you develop some of these values is like, is my value system and my year in review in alignment? And if it's not, do I need to change my upcoming year or do I need to change my value system? Mm -hmm. And an example of that, that's like, not heavy at all. One of my goals, oh, it, also New Year's resolutions or year long resolutions. One of my resolutions for like three years was to go camping a certain number of times. And then every year I kept reviewing it and <laughs> being like, wow, I didn't go camping. Uh-huh. And at some point I was like, I don't think I actually like camping as much yeah. as I think I like camping yeah. because I keep making this resolution and I keep failing to to do it. And at the end of the day is like, I just am not making time to go camping. Like yeah. that's just the reality. And it, it was like, and I think I'm okay with that. Like, mm. but it it helped me to understand maybe who I thought of myself versus who I actually was, and kind of come a little bit more in alignment. Yeah. So I like that as a tangible, like practical thing because it, it goes into lots of other spheres. You know, Mm -hmm. you have to read at least 10 books to have top 10 books, have to, you know, listen to things, watch some YouTube videos, Mm -hmm. define some of these things that you want or are your tops so that you can understand, Mm -hmm. you know, who was I in 2017, 2018 and see how that has progressed over the years. Yeah. I had a friend who came to a realization of like, I don't think I need to go hiking to like live my best life. Like everyone tells me that <laughs> yeah. I need that, mm-hmm. but uh, it's just not for me. And I, I can respect that. Yep. And 